The Department of Infrastructure, Ports and Transport, led by Senior Minister Honorable Stevenson King, has donated supplies to the public transport sector to assist in the fight against the coronavirus. Communications Officer Miguel Favrier has the details. The public transportation sector stands among those more severely impacted by the ravages of the coronavirus pandemic. As a result of the government of St. Lucia's COVID control and prevention protocols, minibus operators on island have for the better part of two years been operating with a smaller complement of passengers, a significant revenue shortfall being the immediate outcome. Among government's many endeavors at easing the squeeze on the transport sector was a donation of sanitary supplies to the National Council on Public Transportation on Wednesday, November 10th. The presentation was made by Senior Minister with Responsibility for Infrastructure, Ports, Transport, Physical Development and Urban Renewal, Honorable Stevenson King. The Senior Minister noted the importance of the sector to St. Lucia's social and economic development. For the last two years or so, what we have seen is a sector that has been under tremendous strain and stress, as many other sectors. But for the public transportation in particular, it is a sector that provides services to the entire country. And without that sector, without that service, probably the country can be paralyzed at any given time. And therefore, it is in our interest as a people, as a government, to ensure that while we battle with COVID-19 and we attempt to in instill the protocols that, that have been established, that some of the champions in that regard to ensure that the protocols are maintained, sustained, really and truly, is the operators and the sector of public transportation. The senior minister touted the, quote, excellent relationship fostered between the Department of Transport and the NCOPT since he assumed responsibility for the department. To date, the department and the council have both agreed to collaborate in order to tackle numerous areas of concern in the best interests of both the community and the minibus operators for a more reliable and safe transportation system. The November 10th donation comprised 150 cases plus 200 boxes of disposable face masks, 40 hand sanitizer dispensers, 64 thermometers, and 15 gallons of hand sanitizer. It seemed to be small, but it's a big initiative in that it will cover quite a bit, uh, quite a number of individuals and certainly help in our drive, our mission of attempting to bring under control the pandemic here in St. Lucia COVID-19. I am hoping that this, in addition to other initiatives and other decisions of the government, um, will help continue to build and strengthen the relationship between the council and the ministry, and that we can continue to engage in, in the necessary dialogue that will strengthen also the lot of uh, minibus operators there in St. Lucia to give them a greater guarantee of their effort in the provision of public transportation. The government of St. Lucia is in the process of finalizing the fulfillment of its commitment to provide COVID relief in excess of $1 million to minibus operators. President Godfrey Ferdinand accepted the donation on behalf of the National Council on Public Transportation. It looks small, but it is it will do great things for us. Each driver will receive 50 masks. Um, each of them, that would serve them for 50 days, which is saving them some money from buying their own masks. And that is good for, for the sector. So I want to thank the minister for his approach and method of operation since he's um, been president of what should I say, Minister of Transport, sorry about that, Minister of Transport. He has extended a warm, open-door policy to us as well as the PS, and we are grateful for that. Our discussions have been very enlightening and encouraging to know that we will be able to achieve so much, and like he, he made reference to, the payment, the COVID payment, is soon going to be given to the, to the, to the operators. 
The handover was made during a small ceremony at the conference room of the Department of Infrastructure, Ports and Transport. Reporting for the Ministry of Infrastructure, Ports, Transport, Physical Development and Urban Renewal, I am Miguel Favre.